So in the BMX world, there are always people who seem to just fly under the radar. No matter how good they are, no matter how nice of a person they are, no matter what, they just kind of fly under the radar and remain underrated forever to only become kind of a legend that people talk about in the future. Well, I'm determined to not let Davey Osgood be one of those people. He is absolutely incredible on his bike, and I will talk about him until everyone knows about it because they should, everyone should see this dude ride. He's such a nice dude. He's quiet, but he's incredible incredible at riding his bike and seems like he can do anything he wants to do brakes no brakes four pegs whatever pegs in the air doesn't matter the dude's incredible and if you look at his recent view counts on his videos it does seem like people are kind of catching on here because his last video that was posted six days ago on his youtube channel that you guys should totally subscribe to has 2,000 views already June biking from a month ago, 2,600. Syracuse DIY, 1,400. Curb squirreling, 2,700. And you go back and they dip off there, but these four seem to be popping off and it's awesome that people are starting to pay attention to Davey. So with that being said, I wanted to react to his most recent video because I know it's going to have crazy riding in it. And I wanted to make sure that you guys went and watched it too. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and go over here to the news screen, shrink me, and I'm gonna go down and read the description. It literally just says, enjoying every moment on these little kid bikes. <clears throat> That's it, he's just a good dude. So we're gonna go full screen here and we are going to react to it. Let's go. Oh, that was rough. Oh, that was rough too. Look at his seat. His seat's rough. No one as good as like pedaling with no chain. No one as good as Davy should have to ride with a plastic bag on their seat. Watch how good this dude is. Nose over the ledge to manual to tooth hanger. Nice music. It's chill. 180 Smith alley -oop to Smith. 180 to fakie. I don't know if that was regular or opposite. He doesn't have a chain on right now. G turn on the ledge. So good. This is well done. Big gap to wall ride, gap out to flat. That was jibby. You went big, then jibby. Grind the kinked rail, but not kinked in the normal way. It's bent to 180 out. No idea if it was regular. I think that was regular to hard 180. Long manual up to fakey manual. Here's the skill on display. Super far fakie manual. Nose up to manual, drop manual, up manual, drop manual, up manual. 180 to fakie manual. Jesus. No chain gang. Look at that. So much skill on his bike. Pegs to tooth hanger, barn into the street, bump jump, Smith, pivot Smith over the corner, oppo pegs 180. Backlash, just kidding. <coughs> I can't even say that because I was coughing. <coughs> Manual 360, opposite pegs, tooth hanger down on a kinked rail, opposite pegs 180, cabin up manual on the lower stair, stair 180 to the top. A feeble G turn. You can't even call this stuff fast enough because it's so crazy. There's so much going on. Gaining some speed. Was that an opposite backlash down? Ice. Pivot to other ice to 270. So one of those was opposite. Wall ride to manual to backlash, fakie manual, whatever you want to call that thing. Dude, Davy is incredible. Regular pegs coming up doing opposite pegs down, spinning out. Ice to backlash. What to ice? <clears throat> Jibby toothpicks to flip the bird to the camera. You know, some people like this, I feel like, wow, look at that tire tap in the freaking ledge area. Some people like this, I feel like 
gaining notoriety and popularity in BMX would like sometimes take away from how special this is because this guy is so incredibly skilled on his bike and underrated that it's kind of got mystique to it that he even is unable to be underrated like this. Wally up to Phoebes to Ice 180. <clears throat> Was this all chainless? Big pegs 180 on the ledge. What else do we got? Nice wall ride on whatever that was. Man, he added to the Wally Smith thing. Pole jam 360, flat rail 180 pegs, 180 over. That's so difficult. Jeez. Like you have to watch this three times to even understand everything that happened. Whatever. How do you even call that? I need to watch it again to even get it. <clears throat> ice, opposite ice, pivot, regular ice, hard 270 out to fakey. No, well, for one, I don't know if anyone else is doing the opposite ice to regular ice on the same ledge spinning in one motion let alone spinning out of it. Like, I don't know if anybody else is doing that right now. Davey, you are my friggin' hero. Let's go through this video again and try and comprehend what's under, what's happening. Almost said understanding. So there's the, there's just the B-roll intro stuff falling. I need water and there's none in here. Damn it. Okay, we're back in. Nose, ice, tooth hanger huge manual no chain there's what helps see no chain helps here because unless you have a free coaster that works really well that pivot there with a cassette you have to backpedal so you smith pivot smith 180 out <clears throat> kicking because he doesn't have a chain G turning on this ledge. It's awesome that there's multiple angles, which means he did it more than once. Big wall ride back out to flat. Then Jibness manual up, manual up the wall, kind of manual down 180 out. Just craziness. Regular pegs down the, the angled rail to 180. <clears throat> Big manual up, and this was the fakie manual. This one takes a second, so we'll skip forward a bit. Back to fakie. <coughs> so many manuals, up and down, up and down, to, what was that regular spin? Yeah, to backlash or fakie manual. 180 out, technically backlash. Regular pegs, tooth hanger look like an opposite bar this bump jump up to smith like bump jump 180 smith pivot around the corner to other smith <clears throat> it's nuts opposite pegs 180 out kind of backlash actually then we go up to the pegs over smith drop ice back over manual to 360 technical trick opposite kinked handrail to tooth hanger over so here we have opposite grind up to fakey cab manual on the lower stair to 180 up to the top stair cabin out no or pegs that's regular pegs to nose manual then all right here we got to translate this next clip so he's got opposite feeble to regular g turn up gain in speed gain in speed to so no that was a regular spin but to backlash to the street 
This is so nuts. Opposite ice pick. This is what I'm talking about. Nobody does this. Opposite ice pick <coughs> on the same ledge, pivot to regular ice pick, then 270 out. It's so incredible. Wall up. That would have been wall up to manual to fakey man to 180 fakey manual or backlash. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. Not sure what that's all about. Pegs up to over. Then on the down one, pegs opposite pegs down to 180 out. <clears throat> Ice stall on a ledge up to backlash. <clears throat> Getting jibby here. So let's, let's scroll back up here. So this was 180 tooth fakie to tooth bonk <clears throat> on the other one to bird flip, roll out. Bump jumping using both tires, keeping the speed up to the tire tap. So a chainless brakeless tire tap is 100% balance. It is not easy. He's doing it in a line on a spot. You could just see that it just moved around on him. When he goes back in, it just moves. And that's not even the end of the line. It's a line. Up to bar. So good. Okay, we got opposite pegs. Over, popping over to crook to 360 out. So good. So, so good. So we got opposite ice, was that an ice grind? Let me go back. Opposite ice grind, pop up to another opposite ice grind, drop down to manual, barely moving to ice, to 180 out. <laughs> what is happening? Wally up to Phoebes, drop to manual. You have to be able to pause this to understand it. Up to ice, 180 out. That was regular this time. It was all a little bit regular before. No, it was opposite. It's crazy. The big pegs to 180. <clears throat> then the wall ride onto the top of that. All right, he one ups the Wally up 180 to Smith. Nose to Smith, oh, it's not one up, it's totally different. Back to Smith and then 180 out over the corner. That was more of an up rail to 180, still kind of pole jam, very low. Where does it become a pole jam? At what level does it go from being up rail to pole jam? 180 pegs, 180 over is so hard to do. Nose 180 to pegs to 270 fakie manual or pivot, whatever you want to call that. This is so mind blowing. So he does an opposite ice grind up, stalls it out on this ledge, goes to regular ice as if it's a sub or something, bounces it out, then goes back to fakie ice on the ledge he started on, goes to fakie and cabs out. So, words, just words. Like I'm, I'm using the same adjectives this whole time to describe this because it's just amazing. So regular pegs up to Oppo Smith to drop. And then the last clip, opposite ice on the ledge, pivot to regular ice keep the motion wait a second was that the opposite motion or keeping the motion going yeah pivot to regular ice keep the momentum going to 270 out the hard way on that ledge davy osgood you underrated incredible incredible rider this is so good make sure you guys go and subscribe to his channel and watch his videos when they come out because this is what you can expect and I hope that this gets more people 
clued in on who this guy is and can watch him ride. He rides for Work BMX, I'm pretty sure still. So that's a thing, but this dude absolutely deserves to just be flown across the world to do stuff like this. And I don't think he cares if it doesn't happen. I'm not gonna try and speak for him at all, but I think he just loves BMX so much that he goes out and does this and wants to capture it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it and cue in and keep watching for what comes next. So thanks for watching this react. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you subscribe to Davey's channel. We'll see you tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Good.